fucking slander. But if you want to slander us, make up bullshit, that is against YouTube's terms of service. So you deal with that. Bye bye. Darren Ryder is still going. His channel has not been knocked off. As for Vegan Cheetah, he is still off. And when will he be back? And there's reason to believe he may not be able to come back. As for Freely, her Instagram is still down. Now some people say that Freely took it down to avoid all the hate coming in. Well, that could be true. <laughs> anyway, this is the High Free Lifestyle. And I've got so much stuff. It's, it's amazing how many different angles there are to attack this story from. So I'm trying to squeeze a few things into each video. Now over in the banana camp, Dorian Ryder and Freely have made new videos since the cheetah was suspended. Freely avoided the topic completely. But Dorian Ryder did not. He talked about the issue for like five minutes or so on his main channel. But he also put up a video on one of his other channels. And so I'm going to bring that to you first. Let's take a look at this together. Big difference between fair usage and slander, libel. So let's just say that your brother or your sister had a YouTube channel and they did some videos and then some troll used their content and says, oh, this person looks like they've got HIV or cancer or whatever, or they've had a sex change operation or they're, you know, they're with lady boys. Would you like that? You wouldn't say that. Oh, that's fair usage. And then their channel got deleted. You wouldn't say, oh yeah, like that was unfair. You'd be like, fucking good. That's like slander. That's like, that's not what YouTube's about. YouTube's a community where people can come to give and share. What do you think about that, everyone? Don't we all kind of agree on that? That you should be able to say somebody's diet sucks? Now, this hasn't been talked about much, but does everybody know that there was a website that started about five years ago called 30 Bananas a Day Sucks? Yes, an entire website for, for hating the diet they used to eat. I tried to find that site yesterday, and it was I couldn't find it. I wonder if you can just change the name of a website to the name of the diet they now eat. I think it's good that YouTube's cleaning stuff up. YouTube's been purging subscribers lately. A lot, a lot of channels like PewDiePie lost over over 700,000 subs now because they're getting rid of all accounts. YouTube's really cleaning up their act, and it's good in a way. It's still nothing perfect. Really this is where we really the, get to see the the, the, the shit cunts from the legit cunts. When when someone does a video saying, you know, Duran Wright is, any reason why Duran Wright is so lean because he's got HIV or Freely's like... Philly's a lesbian or whatever, nothing wrong with being a lesbian. But they've been, and then all this like homophobic, transphobic crap out there. Now, did the cheetah actually claim that Freely's a lesbian? I've been watching her for a while. There's no reason to believe she's a lesbian. She's bi. That's really shit. shit. And that's, that's not what YouTube's, YouTube's about. If you can't contribute positive content, then why be here? Just to troll? Just to make money off me and Freely's hard work? We don't mind me if we're making money. But when you're going to try and make money by slandering, then what do you expect, man? Would you like it if someone said you had HIV or cancer or making up stories that you killed your dog, you killed your goldfish, you killed your neighbor? Or... Okay, more on Harley later. Now I want to show you some more recent footage from the vegan cheetah, just within the last day. What's interesting is he also has another channel, a vlog channel, which means he just shows his daily life. Here's his recent video where he's hanging out with his brother, making fun of how dumb he is, his brother. But they do bring up the recent drama just a little bit. Here it is. And Andrew has to fucking stop at Wendy's to get his fucking fries. Are they even vegan, they bro? They're made with vegetable oil. Are they made with vegetable oil? Have you looked into that? Yeah, you can Google it right now if you want. Yeah, you want to to check. What do you think about the vegan Nazi haters? It's, you got a message for them? It's pretty bad. How bad is it? Just a fuck you? It's just a despicable. Jesus, bro. It's just a 
Concentrate on the fucking road. This is how my brother drives. So did they almost crash? Well, there's another opinion from yet another moron. I think you're just a scared little bitch. He's never been the same after those two black men robbed him over a 20 sack of weed when he was 18. He's never been the same. <laughs> Don't go down to the city guys buying weed. Do you want to tell him that story real quick? Right, that's pretty much as simple as it was, but we were going through one of my friends and I didn't, I didn't think she was gonna fucking set me up, but it turns out either she or her boyfriend set, set us up. And, they held guns to our heads and shit. Yeah, they told him to get under what do the you car. Got? What do you got? What do you got? Did they tell you to get under the car? Yeah, they did. Yeah, I didn't do it, but... What, you were like, fuck you, just shoot me in the head. Shoot me, because I didn't want to get under the fucking car. I thought they were going to try to run me over or some shit. <laughs> the funny part about it is, they're either in prison, or they're still living in poverty. As for the cheetah, he doesn't look too miserable that his income is now gone. That's because it isn't. Not only did his YouTube income just start recently, so he's been living on something else, but he makes money elsewhere. But there is a rumor out there that Cheetah may never be able to come back to YouTube. I think that's racist. But I think what's racist? Affordable wheelchair transport. <laughs> what the f Affordable wheelchair? It's <laughs> like racist against disabled people, bro. <laughs> How is it racist if the poor, disabled oh, community? Yeah, disenfranchised. Is that why you said it was racist? I mean, affordable? I mean, why do they need to say affordable? It's fucking offensive. new video on his main channel, he brings up an issue that's been buzzed in our community for the last 12 hours. I was uh, talking to someone through posts under my video, trying to tell the person I agree that Cheetah was brought down because of copyright infringement. But at the same time, he keeps bringing up the slander issue, which, again, we both agree is the best way to bring down Cheetah. But that's not what it says. The message on Cheetah's site says copyright infringement. How are these two related? And here coming up, Harley, it also seems to be connecting the two of them. There's no copyright though. Videos aren't copyrighted on YouTube. Vegan Cheetah's channel's down, down, down for the counts. Gave him plenty of warnings, said you can't slander people. You can't steal people's content and then say they got HIV. Okay, I'm not going to pass that one up. He said you can't steal other people's content and claim they have HIV. Well, I think it's the last part you can't do. As for the stealing of people's content, it's not stealing. <laughs> Talk to Freely, Harley. Are they in the same country? <laughs> oh, more on where Harley is actually at coming up a couple days. Still playing that game. Use their content and then say, it's just fair usage, just fair usage. That's not how it works. Plenty of warnings. YouTube, review the channel, deleted. Violation terms of service. Saying someone's got HIV when they don't isn't fucking comments and criticisms. That's motherfucking slander. Now, if this is true that Cheetah's not going to be able to come back, it looks like one can only speculate so much before you end up getting sucked into a deep hole. So on Durian Ryder's side, things might be a little unstable, but on the Vegan Cheetah's side, things are actually looking good, I say. As I've hinted at before, I'm piecing some things together. One of these things is that the Vegan Cheetah is recruiting somebody, somebody in a powerful position is someone that we all know, but you'll never guess who it is. Oh, this is juicy. <laughs> a cheetah would agree. <laughs> but I have to keep you in suspense a little bit longer. I'm just not ready to say this yet. And if you want to make sure you don't miss a YouTuber's video or catch it right when it comes up, make sure you catch it. 
you have to do more than subscribe. Here's what you do. You go to their homepage, then you make sure you're subscribed, then you will get this icon right next to it here, this round thing. Click that, and you'll get this. Click the checkbox, send me notifications for this channel. You'll get notification in your email, and you can even see what the video is about and the thumbnail to decide if you want to go and watch it. And you just click on that, it takes you right there. And you know, the Cheetah and Harley, they got to come together so we can move on with our lives. Come together! And you would think they could. Here we got a cunt and a dick. You'd think they could come together. Anyway, and remember to keep fighting the oppression. And remember during these times to stay sane and don't let the vegan drama drive you crazy. It helps to not forget the vegan message. And here are some suggestions for videos to watch of mine that are about other things. Check out some of this stuff. I'm hoping you'll subscribe to my channel to bring a new future to this community. 43 years old. Looks beautiful at 43. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, a lot of people think that's good. And sure, she looks good on TV. You know, with the great lighting, makeup. But she's not actually aging well. I'm about five years older than she is. I don't have that sagging. So I'd say I've aged even better than she has. So, Cameron, I think you should stick with just being a slut. So put on something skimpy, because you know that's what my viewers want to see. Mommy Tang was talking about her viewers mad at her and unsubscribing. I've had that problem in the last few days too. You just gotta fucking suck it up. This really goes with the territory of making a difference. You know, the people who've made a difference in the world, they always have people that hate them. I'm not saying that it's not deserved, even good people. This is a good time to introduce the word brainwashing. Even before this latest drama, the word brainwashing would be used against... Oh, I've read this before. I forgot all about this. He'll be dealt with likely in the very ways he advocates dealing with others. And speaking of psychosis, don't miss my next video. And be sure to get a free sample of my book, Escape. The Diet Matrix. Welcome to the real world. First, I take you on a journey into the Diet Matrix and show you the truth about the world you were born into. Then I show you the world you should have been born into. The real world. Chapter 7 may be the most mind-blowing part of the book, where you will hear food psychology like you have never heard it before. Here's a link to my book where you can get it. So if you got something out of this video, give it a thumbs up and share it around to all the pro-anorexic websites.